Well, I'm back at pub once again. Except I'm not here for a drink. It's another work day and I've been really busy sorting out this sitting area outside pub, ready for the weekend. It's important to make sure that that's all nice and tidy. I'm basically prioritising certain parts of the site at the moment. And the one that gets used most is the area straight outside the pub where people can just sit and have a quiet drink. So I've done that already, it took me about two and a half hours. And then I've got to go right down to the other end of the site because apparently down there it's starting to get a bit overgrown. So you've got to keep on top of things like that. Otherwise it's going to be ten times job if you just leave it. So I'll show you what I've done this morning and then we'll head down to the bottom and we're going to take all tools that we need so we don't have to keep going back and forth because it is quite a long walk. So that's the outdoor seating area and as you can see I've been going up and down with mower making sure that grass has been cut right back. I've also rearranged those tables a little bit but to do that job You've got to tip those tables on their end, cut around them and then tip them the other way. That saves dragging them completely out of the way. But it definitely looks a lot better. So that's all set up, ready for the weekend. So now we can move to a different part of the site. So for today's job, I'm basically going to need everything. Apparently there's quite a lot of work to do down that far end. So we're going to need the petrol mower. We're going to need the ride on mower and we're going to need the strimmer. But before I do anything, I've got to check everything, make sure they've got enough fuel. I don't want to get right down to far in the campsite and run out because then I'll talk all the way back to get a can. That one's okay. Basically, that ride on lawn mower and this push mower are just petrol. But when you use the strimmer, you've got to mix it with oil. So basically we need to fill this bottle up to that level with petrol and then the rest we add two stroke oil and give it a good mix. But that's only for the strimmer. And I've just checked the fuel on that strimmer as well and that's okay. So I'll just check the ride on mower. It has got some in it but it's about halfway down. And because it's a really warm day today, and for the first time in a long time it's nice and sunny, I'm going to fill that up because we have got a lot of work to do. While I'm at it, I've also checked the oil. We need to make sure these machines are in perfect working order, so a little bit of maintenance now and again is definitely essential. And according to that, everything's fine. So we can get as tools and head down to the bottom of that campsite now. Something like this is also going to come in quite useful, if I choose to use it, that is. Not everything about this job is as straightforward as it seems. You can't just ride round and round and get it all done because there's some places you can't ride that mower. It's not got enough turn on it. So I'm basically doing the biggest part of this job with that mower, but then I have to go around all edges with that petrol low mower. And then when we get to parts where it's quite high, you've got to use strimmer. So that's why I've brought everything down here that I could. So that seemed straightforward enough. But once I've done that flat part, I've got to go all the way back around all those borders with this and any that this can't pick up, I have to use strimmer for. So safety first, 
we'll have a go with this strimmer. So a little bit tougher than I thought it were going to be, but I do enjoy what I'm doing. So all the hard stuff, that strimmer will take care of that. The big areas, I can ride around most of them, but then I have to go back with that push mower. It is actually self-propelled, but when you pull the bar for it to start moving, it does go a little bit too fast. It's not exactly walking speed, but it does do a good job. I'll show you what I've done so far. So as you can see, I've been all the way down that edge with that strimmer, cutting it right back. And then I've run back over it with that mower just to level it out. And this part was actually quite overgrown. But once again, a few trips round with that ride on mower and then finished off with that petrol mower. And now everything is nice and flat. It looks 100% better, although it did take quite a while to do. So that's the intention, to get every piece of grass on this side looking like this. You do also have to cut down the backs of these vans, and you can see I've done that. But just at right hand side, there's a dike, and if you're not careful, you'll end up in it. So as you drive down there, it does tend to tip a little bit as you're riding it. So I finished that off with that push mower again. And I've been all the way around this caravan now. And for me, that's a job well done. And this area is basically where I've got to, but there's still a lot to do yet. All the way back down to where I originally started, that is a lot of grass. And that's the centre part. We've also got the same at each end as well. Plus we need to strim all the way around these areas too. And some parts are a bit more overgrown than others. But that's the job. You can hear that mower stammering when it only is a couple of inches of grass. It's just not powerful enough, which is why we have to use a combination of that ride on mower, the strimmer, and then that mower to finish off. Anyway, I've got a lot of work to do today. It's getting really hot, so I've put sun cream on. I've got a bottle of pop. It's very important to stay hydrated, especially when you're doing work like this. So I'll get on with it and see how much more I can get done because as you've just seen, there certainly is a lot to go at. If you want to see what else we do over the next few weeks, please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Enjoy the sun.